Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to generate the QR code using Spring Boot application. As you know, these days we are using QR code in everywhere like while doing the payment or just if you book the movie ticket, so it is high possibility that you might get the ticket in the form of QR code. So in this tutorial, I am going to teach you or we, we are going to build the application from a scratch to generate the QR code. And this is the final QR code which we are going to generate from the Spring Boot application. So here I have written the article. So here I is uh, written all the steps required to generate or the build this application. So what I am going to do, I will just follow these steps. And just step number one, we need to create the project from Spring Initializer. Just I am going to browser. I am searching Spring Initializer. I got this just click on this give keep the group name and give the artifact ID keep some meaningful name here spring boot QR app and just add one dependencies spring B all right and click on generate button once you click on that your project will get downloaded here just go there so in folder and extract your project in your local system once you extracted just go to your workspace i am using eclipse for doing this project so i will just import that maven project from there so this is the project just click on that select folder and click on finish it is start importing and see it is giving some error just go to pong.xml if you are if you are also getting this error just what you have to do just change the release version number from 2.3.4 to 2.3.3 once you done uh, control is to save this and just go to the project and just go to the maven and click on update project so once you update this all this error will be gone now move to the article and see the next step step number two we have done step number three just unzip and extract completed step number four is also completed we imported the project in eclipse now step number five we need to add one more dependency actually this dependency is only responsible for like provide it provides so many methods or the class which is responsible for generating the qr code so what I am going to do, I will just copy this dependency and this is only for generating the image, core image dependency. Okay, so I am just copying it and I will go to pom.xml and I will go to and I will paste inside the dependencies uh, tag. So I paste it here. Now move to the article again. There is a one more dependency we want. We want Java client dependency. So again I will just copy it. You can easily get from the Google or anywhere. I am just copying it and I will place in the pom.xml file. So everything is done. Now move to step number 6. Step number 6 we need to create a class for QR code genera generator. Okay. So what I will do I will first create this class and paste it this code from here. And then I will explain you what are the method we are going to create in this class. Because you know you can easily get this type of the code from anywhere. So my main focus is to just explain you each and each line of the code. So I am going to here give the name QR code generator. And just finish this. See class is created just paste the code okay I have pasted the code and just close the extra tab so that you can easily able to see what are the things okay the very first method we have we have the generate QR code image okay so the method of this method is used to generate the image this image okay this image will get generated once this method get called and it will get called from the controller class okay still we did not created the controller class in the next step we will create the controller class so see the very first line is this method have qr code writer 
okay this class actually it is a class which is present in where see here com dot google dot this package okay it is present in this package which already we added the dependency for that and it is providing the qr code writer class all right and what we are doing from this qr code writer we are calling the encode method okay encode method and it it and we are passing the argument as a text this text we will receive from the controller okay i will explain you at the time of controller also okay so this text we will receive from the controller and we also receiving the width height and the file path okay this path we this path will be the path where the qr code image get saved okay once it is generated and where it gets saved that is this file path variable will contain so once it is come here and again see here we are passing the width and height okay at the end i will explain you with the controller also and then we are using the path class and we are just getting the actual path of that image where we are going to like save it and finally what we are doing we are converting into the png it will generate the qr code in the form of png see we are calling write to path it will write the uh, means it will construct the image in the following path the path we which we are going to pass from the controller class right we are only mention the path and it will create the png image see here the name of this image extension dot png so it will create the png image so that is uh, we define here and the another method we have we have the get qr code image and actually it will return it is also doing the same thing but it will return in the form of byte array okay it will return in the form of byte array it is not going to create this type of image here but it will be used in the uh, html and javascript to display this thing in the web pages okay it is might be used it can be used if you give the byte array then the front end developer or the person who is working on the front end side they can easily use it to display in their web pages okay that's why i declare here so these are the two things and now the come to the article what are that see here i explain it also if you want just go through that step number 7 we need to create a controller class and same thing i first i will just copy it and then i will explain you what is the apis we are going to and like create in this class just click on control n shortcut for creating the class in the eclipse and give the name qr code controller okay i given this name this class has been created just paste it that code see the very first thing what i have done rest controller we tag with the class with rest controller okay and the first thing we define we declare a one variable which is final variable or the constant and where we mention the path okay so once the qr code get generated it will save with this name qr code dot png in the following path source main resources see here in the source main resources currently we have three things static folder templates folder and application dot properties folder just three things and once i we will run this application after implementing all the code one more uh, file will come here that is qr code dot png okay which contain the image now the very first api we have defined here generate and download the qr code so once this api get called and here also we are passing some text code text you can pass whatever the text you want you can also give the width accordingly you whatever you want and the height also it is completely up to you dynamic it is completely dynamic so once it will come this method and again it will co call the generate qr code image have you remember i told you we are going to call this method from the controller class see this is the class this is the method which is declare in the qr code generator which i already explain you qr code generator so this method get call get called from this api see it is get call and it will generate the image 
and like your code image and it will save in the ASR a main resources folder okay so that is the purpose of this first one the second one is also doing the same thing the only difference is it is returning the byte array in the form of byte array it is not going to save in your source main resources okay but instead of that it is returning in the form of response byte array format see byte array format because so that the front-end developer or the any person who is working in the front-end side they can use to display in the web pages web pages means what the pages which is present on internet simple so they can use in this method so now come to the article and here i explain all the things now pom.xml okay we have i think we have completed just run the application just go there and go to main class and run the application okay right click and run as or debug as if you want run as java application see it's starting running can you see here see see okay it started running see tomcat started on port number 8080 just go to the, your browser or you can also go to the postman if you want i am showing with the user browser go to localhost 8080 see it is coming it means it is running correctly now we need to call the api what is the name of this api generate your code and this one just i am copying it and i will place paste it here see and now instead of just giving this code text here you can pass anything any text you want i'm just passing random text and in the bit you can give any bit whatever you want the size of that image or the qr code it will be generated of that bit so just remove this curly bracket okay Okay, right now good and press on enter now so done just go to the eclipse what are the path we mentioned where it can going to create source main resources and qr code dot png see here currently we don't have just come here and right click and refresh okay can you see one more file is come here that is qr code dot png if you open it you can see finally you can able to see this is the qr code which we are we have generated and see this is the width and height whatever value we have given that is the width and height of height of this qr code image is getting created just i am copying this path and i will display on the browser see this is the qr code which we have created from our spring boot application so that's all about this tutorial guys so this is the very short and very easy to understand how to generate the qr code and here i have written the article if you want if you face any difficulty just go through this article i will give the link in the description in of this video and if you face any difficulty just to comment in the comment section i will definitely answer your queries and even i also provided the source code whatever i explained in this video see here this is the source code i have provided once you click on that you can easily able to download it and yeah that's all about this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching this video and yeah good luck